Hello students. Now I am going to discuss a very important name reaction and the reaction is Haloform reaction. Have you heard the name Haloform? Haloform reaction. Okay, let's start. Haloform. Haloform reaction. Haloforms. What are the haloforms? CHX3. These compounds, X can be chlorine, it can be bromine, it can also be iron, but not fluorine. Chloroform is not formed. If it is Cl, then the compound is chloroform. If it is Br, the compound is bromoform. And if it is I, the compound is iodoform. So the reactions by which we can prepare these compounds that is CHX3, chloroform, bromoform and iodoform and the reaction is said to be haloform reaction. Haloform reaction generally possible for all the compounds which have been CH3CO group, you know CH3CO group and the group is called ketomethyl group, ketomethyl group. Ketomethyl group. All the compounds which have ketomethyl group and they have the tendency to respond to haloform reaction. So in haloform reaction, the reactants are generally aldehyde and ketones having ketomethyl group. And there are certain alcohols which on oxidation will produce aldehyde and ketones having this group and they will respond to haloform reaction. So let's see how the reaction proceeds. The reagent is aldehyde and ketones having ketomethyl group uh, and as I have just said there can be few alcohols like C2H5OH, uh, CH3, CH, OH, CH3, 2-propanol, ethanol. These compounds also respond to haloform reaction. And here the reagent is strong alkali and the strong alkali NaOH or KOH can be used. Now let's see how the reaction proceeds. So the compounds which will give haloform taste are CH3CHO acetaldehyde CH3 C double bond O CH3 acetone CH3 C double bond O benzene ring that is you know the name of the compound acetophenone CH3 CH2 OH ethanol CH3 CH OH CH3 2 propanol or propan 2 ol or isopropyl alcohol, whatever you say. CH3, CH, OH, CH2, CH3. That is butan 2 ol or 2 butanol. So these are the compounds and which will give haloform taste in presence of halogen and strong alkali. So here, if you observe carefully, you will see. CH3CO, CH3CO, CH3CO. So that is ketomethyl groups are, are directly present in these compounds. But here ketomethyl groups are absent. But you know CH3CHOH group, CH3CHOH group on oxidation produces ketomethyl group CH3. Ethanol CH3CH2OH, ethanol on reacting with I2 solution in presence of alkaline medium NaOH will produce iodoform CHI3 along with the side product HCWNA, NaI and water. So ethanol on reacting with and if I balance the reaction 4I26NOH so the products are this. So ethanol in presence of I2 and NOH produces iodoform and if you take Cl2 it will be chloroform and here I would like to remind you that 
so one salt will form and the one salt here uh, the number of carbon in ethanol 2 and the salt having one carbon less than that of the alcohol or aldehyde or ketone taken in the haloform reaction. The reaction actually occurs stepwise and the step 1, step 1, so at first ethanol CH3CH2OH oxidizes, oxidizes to form CH3CHO, CH3CHO and HI. So that and the second step and the second step the CH3CHO which has just produced in the step 1, okay, uh, CH3CHO and then halogenation occurs. Halogenation and here the halogenation is iodination and the products are CI3CHO, CHO uh, with the side product HI. In step 3, step 3, the triiodo oh, compound, triiodo acid aldehyde here, CI3CHO undergoes hydrolysis in presence of alkaline medium that is NOH and we are getting CHI3 and the yellow crystalline solid and along with the salt and the salt is HCOONA sodium formate. Instead of ethanol if we take acetaldehyde or acetone CH3COCH3 the haloform reaction will be in two step that then the first step will be say for acetone the first step will be halogenation reacting with I2 it will be CI3COCH3 and in the second step CI3COCH3 that is triiodoacetone on reacting with NOH that is hydrolysis reaction so we are getting CHI3 iodoform and CH3 CWNA sodium acetate or sodium ethanoate. So the first step is here iodination and the second step is hydrolysis. In case of ethanol we have seen that there were three steps and the first step was oxidation but here as already ketomethyl group is there in the compound the first step is not required. So, so that's how we can prepare iodoform um, by haloform reaction. One important thing regarding haloform reaction is there are compounds say CH3COCl acetyl chloride CH3CONH2 acetamide CH3COOH acetic acid so these are the compounds where ketomethyl group having attached atom like chlorine nitrogen and oxygen and these atom having lone pair of electrons you know oxygen having two pair nitrogen one and the chlorine having three pairs and due to the presence of these lone pairs the actual structure of ketomethyl is lost and here that lone pairs are resonating with the ketomethyl group and that's why the ketomethyl nature of the ketomethyl group is lost by CH3CO negative double bond Cl plus the similarly for uh, acetamide and acetic acid so these are the compounds of where apparently it seems that the ketomethyl groups are there but they will not respond to haloform reaction ok so that's it for haloform reaction students now what you have to do you have to do subscribe my channel and if you subscribe my channel you will have the latest update in my classes and which will be very useful for you and moreover if you have anything to say you may contact in my whatsapp number 91 that is country code 9832095737